Hey, look, everybody. It's a me. I'm in a video game. Folks, it's here. After years of waiting, I can finally play with myself. And yes, you can quote me on that. Nico, alongside Ms. Arts and Cabrito, are the ones who have brought this walking furball to life. And by golly, did they nail what it's like to be, see, and hear me, let me tell ya. So from inside jokes to mechanics never before seen, Beard the Guide is here to change up the routine. Well, your routine, I suppose, as he's business as usual as far as I can tell. I mean, come on now. Any man capable of dealing two times the damage to Otto Von Chesterfield Esquire has got to be right in the head at the end of the day. Screw you, Chester. No, seriously, screw you. Hutch is so much better that when Beard picks up the eye bone, it not only transforms into Starsky, Chester himself is no more. Now this, this might just be the greatest perk in the history of perks, and it's not even close. And yes, Hutch will indeed work as he always does, so enjoy light, spikes, and a massive sanity aura to potentially help offset the many sanity drains that'll be coming your way. But hold up, Beard. The heck does that even mean? Well, Beard here is a workaholic. Therefore, if no actual work is done in-game within a minute's time, the guy will begin to lose two and a half sanity per minute until a new task is done. And it has to be real work mine meaning the drain will remain unless beer chops, mines, smashes, etc. Now it's definitely a small thing, but combined with some other drains, it's gonna add up fast. But what other drains are we actually talking about here, you ask? Well, even nighttime drains will add to the effect enough for it to matter for sure. However, hop on a boat while not having worked, and Beard's built-in seasickness is also going to tack on an additional 3.1 sanity per minute. Not only that, since the man just loves the ocean, and everything that has ever come with it over the years, he will also be groggy while floating around on these nautical circles. So make notes. But he doesn't hate every piece of seafaring content at the end of the day. Not when skitter squids are here to stay. Being Beard's favorite set of mobs in the entire franchise. All he needs to do is be on screen with a couple of these things in order to benefit from a positive 6.25 sanity per minute gain per squid. Yes, you heard that right. Per squid. Oh yes, these peepers are keepers. It's good stuff. And it gets oh so much better from here, if not a bit meta to boot. Beard the Guide enters this world he knows so well with his guidebook here, and while we can clearly see that the thing can be used as a weapon to slap our enemies full of knowledge at the cost of no durability loss, this novelty novel should actually be more utility than anything. Bear with me here, folks. We all know how prototypers work, correct? Things like an alchemy engine, shadow manipulator, or even the ancient pseudoscience station all open up new crafts for our needs, and then we think nothing of it afterwards, right? But ask yourself this, what happens when you have all the resources for all the new goodies, however these machines are light years away, or maybe not even on the same plane of existence? Well, ask no longer, as Beard can copy the recipes of any crafting station in the game in order to bring them with him wherever he goes. Copy a shadow manipulator, gather whatever resources you need out there in the world, drop the guidebook, and said shadow manipulator is actually just right there on the ground so you don't have to walk back. And yes, this applies for all other characters nearby too. And yes, while it's true that once you do prototype stuff, the book isn't really needed for alchemy crafts and all that, this entire process does work for ancient and or lunar crafting at the end of the day, even when you're not in the caves. Be mindful though, when doing just that, the powers that be will drain the guidebook of its 15 charges, but thankfully, a new bookcase is in town that will help recharge the thing as you can see. Plus, it's not like we can't just make another one or anything. More guidebooks will be available for three papyrus, a feather pencil, and four thule side chunks if need be. Have fun. But what's this? There's even more to Beard than meets the eye. Yes, indeed, everyone. As Nico has pulled out all the stops, and they are still planning on more, believe it or not. Beard has a beard. It's shocking. I know, 
but it's also very true, and he's been told that it's a pretty darn good one, and the constant seems to agree. Beard's beard will keep him warmer longer than most, even without any extra help, so take advantage for sure. So it looks like them Chicago winners have trained him well. And before we end the day on some extra tidbits just for fun, we should probably get to mentioning the guy's stats, don't you think? Beer rumbles, bumbles, and stumbles his way into this wacky world of ours at 150 hunger, 200 sanity, and 100 health respectively. Do bear in mind, though, that that hunger won't actually last very long, as it will drain 25% faster than normal, something that real beard wishes that he could benefit from sometimes. Oh, and yes, if none of that suits you, or you want to adjust some of the perks you've seen here today, then be sure to do so through Beard's configuration menu. But it's time to wrap up with the fun stuff, folks. The inside jokes, quotes, and I suppose a look at Beard's ghost now that I think about it. For you see, Beard sounds like Woody, so the normal voice listening that I would do for modded characters is not going to mean much. But what does mean a lot is the start of Beard's unique and familiar quotes. We've got shoutouts to the members in the community, as you can see, fun jabs at other members who are a constant pain in my side, but we're all the better for it, my catchphrases make an appearance or two when fighting certain mobs, or even tending to plants here and there, and plenty more. Yup. It's Beard, all right, and I should know. So thank you, Nico, for all of your love, thoughts, and work. It means a lot. Having played Don't Starve since the Google Chrome days, it's wild that I am now an actual part of it. You, Ms. Arts, and Cabrito all made it happen. And I will forever be grateful for just the mere thought of Beard the Guide here. Phenomenal perks. Quotes that sound like Beard himself wrote them, and much more. What else can a guy ask for? And to think, you're not even done messing with me and what I'm all about. So I cannot wait to see what else you come up with. But thanks for watching, folks. Well, wish it to all. Go download the mod, you numpties. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.